Well, the Tropicana Hotel uh, making way for the new home field for the A's. Now the future for the hotel's multi-million dollar uh, stained glass ceiling is up in the air. But the company that created it says it's not their only work around town. Eight News reporter James Schaefer joins us live with when and where the sister ceilings were christened. For over a century, the same family has worked on stained glass for the city of Las Vegas, the Judson family. We spoke with them, and they still remember what it was like when they sold the idea of a glass ceiling to the Tropicana 45 years ago. I remember being at the Tropicana when my dad was, was talking to them and selling them the job. I remember playing video games there, so it was one of my earliest memories. David Judson, president of Judson Studios, can still recall when his father sold and created the $200,000 project in 1979. Its work captured in photos from the company, which is celebrating 125 years. We don't do it for the money. It's, it's, it's a passion, and uh, so we love to work with uh, you know, creative people and, and people that really love beauty and and being able to create things for people that um, bring bring uh, you know light to their lives. That light casts through the stained glass of Las Vegas properties like the Caesars Palace, which before renovations in the late 90s, the Hotel Palace Core restaurant was another work of art assembled by the studio. We were probably one of the studios that was closest to Vegas at that time, and so we were kind of the go-to studio for a number of projects. <laughs> Another piece more residential in nature, Judson completing two stained glass pieces for the home of Siegfried and Roy. Although it's been years since other notable work, Judson said he is optimistic about the studio's foothold in the industry. We really are leaning into technology and um, pushing the limits of what it can do. Now, other work of Judson Studios can be found in some other cities as well. You can find it in Tokyo and in the state of Hawaii as well inside the U.S. Capitol building. Reporting from nearby the soon-to-be-demolished Tropicana, James Schaefer, 8 News Now.